Hi guys, Mike here, K and MRD Radio Stuff. We are with the one and only Mr. Ray Novak from everyone's favorite radio company, ICOM America. And we're looking at the IC705. Super geeked. So tell us what we got here, Ray. Well, we got the IC705, a real compact QRP radio, 5 watts with the handheld battery. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty cool. Battery gets dead, pull it off your handheld. Yep. How many milliwatts is that battery? That one is... Man, let me borrow your glasses here. 1800. There we go. It's 1880. 1880. So that's just what your regular HT battery. No, that... For, they, is the expanded battery for okay. the ID51, ID31. Okay. I did that on Amateur Logic and everyone goes, oh my God, he took the battery off without powering off the radio. Well, what did it do? It came right back up where yeah. you left off at. That's great. So what are some features and benefits of the radio? What's, so we've got VHF, uh, HF, VHF, UHF, all modes, so we're Sideband CW, everything you want on everything. Right there. Just I like a 7300. How good the, voc the focal is on that. Probably not well, but I'll get some B-roll. All right, we got FM radio, airband, general receive, 6 meter, 2 meter, 440, and then all your HF. That's awesome. Your modes, I mean, the operation is just like a 7300. Yeah. That it seems like... Everybody you hear on HF has at least got one. I hope so. Thank you, everybody. I do. <laughs> I appreciate that. I love it. So basically, so what what's the market for this? Are you guys kind of going after Elecraft or just looking for a new branch of portable operators? Or we're going after fun. Okay. I mean, you. Take I like a, fun. You take a look at the seventy three hundred. That's a fun radio. Mm -hmm. I've taken Not, that portable. Ninety seven hundred again. Mm -hmm. Another fun radio. The seven oh five. We're going to give people another option for QRP operation, portable, national parks on the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm big you, in parks on the air. You name it, whatever you want to go portable. I've kind of joked around, the antenna's on the wrong side to do this. <laughs> and when you got a fat head like mine, it actually looks real small. Yeah, that's like one of the old Motorola's. <laughs> we don't speak that language here. <laughs> that, that name who shall be spoken. But uh, looks like some of the concept has been mobile because that's the AMPS standard. Okay, there. Sorry. As well as you got your, okay. your oh gosh, what is that? Yeah. So a, a quarter technical. twenty camera mount. Yeah. That's the same thread for a camera mount. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. So you got that, and then you got you can see feet on the bottom of it okay. for it to be stationary. Yep. A um, couple of the cool things, and what we'll do is we'll go into the menu to find the cool things. Under set, look at there, Bluetooth, wireless wow. LAN, SD card. Okay. Now along with that, okay, Bluetooth, we've experimented with an Android and an iOS app mm -hmm. with our 4100 and 5100. So the, what I've grown to love about my ICOM 7300 is that you guys really thought the menu system through. There's no fussing with it, there's no going through 160 different menus to find your power. You right. just, it's, it's very intuitive. Right, but wait a minute, and it depends on which power you're looking for too. Right. Not only that, we follow what mode and what features, so yeah. why do you have to go through your CW settings when you're in sideband? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, the you same. You guys nail it out of the park. I mean, when, hands down, best so when you, OS ever. When you look here, RF power, HF. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll come out. We'll go here to six meters. Yep. Six meter power out. Two yeah. meter power That's out. That's great. And and no other radio company makes it that intuitive. And it just Not blows that intuitive. My mind. They do have yeah. some of those, but is it. Number eight hundred and fifty out right. of nine hundred, so yeah. it makes it makes it a little bit easier to operate that yeah. way. Yeah, fantastic. But also, when we're talking about doing some of the fun, uh, we've got D Star mode in it, mm -hmm. and some of that with the and she talks to you. Yep. We take a look at menu and menu number two, picture mode. What is that for? Exactly. What is that for? <laughs> Well, doing in D-Star mode, I can use an iOS app, mm -hmm. use the fancy new camera. you got that new wide zoom and yeah. the new Apple latest, greatest thing. Yeah. 
You use their software to edit what you want to send. Uh -huh. Then you send it to the radio over Bluetooth, the radio over D-Star to another radio that could be using an Android and receiving <laughs> the photo. No kidding. So How cool is that? You're, do you're doing a soda and you go, dude, you got to see, what kind of snake is this? <laughs> Take a photo, send it on VHF Simplex yeah. over uh, D-Star, and the other person, it paints across the screen just like it's slow-scan TV. Wow. That's awesome. So, I mean, that's just something fun to do. And when we're talking about youth, well, how do you get youth to get away from one of these devices? Yeah. Don't throw it away. Yeah. This is their portal to the world. Mm -hmm. Just show them that there's another RF deck yep. that you then could send the photos with. That's awesome. Text messaging over HF. There you go. <laughs> so you, you, got, you got three things to take a look at. You've got your main menu. Okay, but there we go. But you've got yep. two screens on. Okay, that's what's throwing me off there. Now, when you take a look here, you got CW keyer yep. and CW mode. When we go to RTTY, you go menu, and now it's got the decode. Why no CW decode? Unless it's machine sent, it's going to be a great T and E reader. Mm, okay, I do see a lot of T's and E's. Okay. But there again, it adjusts the SWR bridge yep. to go through. Then you got your functions. What do you use? There again, screen one and two. Mm -hmm. Then you got your quick menu. That this one does not change as you're going through it. Then you got your multifunction button. So your twin passband filters mm -hmm. for RTTY. So we come here, CW. Yep. CW key, CW yeah, pitch. That. That's what we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. on not having that long list of yeah. Uh, yeah, settings. Just great, great user interface. So I love it so SSB, much. SSB, the menu. Now you got your voice, your recording function for it. We go here to the quick menu. Like I said, that does not change. Mm -hmm. But then might gain compression. Now, when you go to your function, you got your compression on or off just by touching it. Mm -hmm. But then you touch and hold it, it will bring up yep. your compression setting here as well. So there's multiple ways to enter that menu. The scope, you can set your band edges for what you want to look at, your waveform colors, your fixed edges. Yep. So anyone that has a 7300, a 7610, they're going to feel right at home using this radio. Yes. So what else we have? So no internal tuner? No, sir. No. Was that just couldn't oh, fit? Don't, or? don't give me that. Oh, uh, <laughs> like it's. I'm a such resident a antenna guy. The viewers want to know. So <laughs> the magical backpack we were talking earlier when you came uh -huh. up. Well, the first found in my backpack was the antenna from Comet. Okay. It is uh, nine bands, so it's oh, wow. 80, 40, uh, 20, okay. all the way yeah, up yeah. to six meters. Yeah, all right. That's a telescopic antenna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a very high Q, meaning very narrow, so you're going to need yeah. a tuner for that. Then found in my backpack this cool Alpha Antennas mag loop. Mm -hmm. So when guys are talking about, well, I, I like to carry wire antennas. Well, you got the fiberglass or graphite. That would be this guy. Telescopic. <laughs> okay. Yep. So how long does it take you to to take one of those out of your backpack and set up? Uh, 15, 20 minutes probably, all said and done. All right. And then I you, feel this is going to be quicker. Well, we're over halfway there. Oh. <laughs> and you're running this from the backpack? I just pulled it out of the backpack. Takes longest to, to screw in the, the threads there. Oh, and also found in the backpack a nice BioNO. Yep. So we, we did a we quick... We are friends with BioNO. We just did a quick plug for them. Yep. But still talking, putting it together. And as Gordon West will say, 
what we'll end up doing is tuning for maximum noise. Mm -hmm. so lining everything up. Have you got the first pole put up yet? Uh, I have it out of the car. Okay. <laughs> so let's come over here, go to 20 meters, turn the volume up. Uh, let me change the, the scope here. So we see some signals on there. Yep. Oh, there oh, it was. Yeah, look at that. Oh, jeez. There's tuned. Yeah. So, oh, I'm on FM. That's why I'm not hearing you. So. Wow. In real time, just set it up and we're ready to operate. Okay, so let's go to, sorry, we're blowing everybody out here. Let's go here to 40. Oh, well, we're not resonant, are we? Now we are. Wow. All right. Do I need nope, an antenna works. tuner? <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. And I'm very much a resident antenna guy, but I've already been having people commenting on the Twitter and, and everything. You know, oh, it doesn't have an antenna tuner and everything. Well, I never bring one anyway, but that was that was a big uh, a big thing people were asking about. So, so when we're on um, external power, we get a little more output power, yes? Yes, you get 10 watts out. Okay. Now, what's the current draw? Don't know yet. Okay. The radio is still, what we're looking at here is a prototype. Okay. It's going back to Japan on Monday. Mm -hmm. This is one of the prototypes that we had out at the Tokyo Ham Fair. So, so we're thinking release Dayton-ish? Hopefully before Dayton. Before Dayton. Yeah. Okay. And we still don't know a price yet. No, not yet. But we can we can speculate maybe 12-ish, 15-ish, we're guessing, maybe. Who knows? I like the issues. Say. Yeah, ish. What are you going to do? You can't hold them to it. Awesome, man. So, well, I know a lot of people are looking uh, into this radio and are very excited about it. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to show So have you got me. your fiberglass poles up yet? Uh, maybe. I might have it guide. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> now we can start pulling it up and putting it in our antenna. Awesome. Ray, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate right. it. You saw it here first or maybe second or third. <laughs> we'll see you guys.